guys rocked it. We went over the basket and then we added on two new moves. So the move that we called that move because not very creative. And crazy, crazy legs. <laughs> and yeah, crazy legs. That move with crazy legs. And then the inside turn. So that move looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. So from another angle. So for guys, crazy legs, rock it out. You can do your whole footwork. So we'll do it with the just normal pattern footwork. One, two, three, and four. Step, step, four, step. It's not as cool though. <laughs> and I found it easy to be ready on the uh, And it also gets you sort of in this kind of angle, which means I can walk past you. So again, if I'm going past or we're doing crazy legs, I'm watching my lead gets me in the right position, but I'm going to keep my footwork going. Couple, that's all good too. Um, Should we do it from the same just to go? Because it's nice how you come down the line. Yes, we've seen Natasha come down the line. Right. One, two, three, four. See, straight down that line. Yeah, really nice. And then we top that off with a inside turn. So let's move That looks like this. One, two, three. Look at your and watch. Four, five, six, seven, seven, and eight. eight. You're pretty good for the most part. Just remember, don't turn too early. Wait till you've checked out the time, which should happen on about four, prepping on three. Yeah. So again, another angle. So we're going to yeah, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three and four, three. five, six, seven, and eight. And notice how it's not a turn from the lead. It's actually a, a, a send through, and then I have to turn because I've got nowhere else to go. So from this angle. <laughs>
triple, so the basic movement of an angle is rock, step, triple, triple, rock, step, triple, triple. And we're trying to use lots of pulse so that, and we're very relaxed. So I'm not actually pushing and pulling her, I'm just pulsing. And I do the footwork myself, and because I'm pulsing and quite relaxed, you'll feel we have lots of time and it will work. And then what we did is we then killed the pulse out of it, so we end up with simply step, 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 which takes it for four count moves. So we end up going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now for that, of course, I'm not relaxed, there's a bit more tension. I'm being super clear that I'm creating this particular shape, and I'm using the connection there to, to help rock step her and guide her back out. Because I know that this, I want this move before counts, not six, it's a bit more rushed, and that rush, but with the lack of pulse, with a bit of extra tone, and the rushing through the move, will mean that she won't want to triple, she shouldn't feel like she has time to triple. So we really wanted to uh, generate a huge difference between the two, so really exaggerate it. 500%, so this is pulse, this is flat, there's no, no ambiguity, nothing in between. And if you're lucky enough to, to have a practice partner and you want to go over this stuff, uh, I would recommend for the followers to make sure you've got lots of space for a start, but close your eyes and as your partner leads you through the moves, you verbally tell him, that was a pulse, that was a flat, that was a pulse, that was a flat, whatever he leads. That way he knows whether or not he's being effective with his leading. And then we took that to the advanced version of the move where I can do, I can go Pulse. triple and then flat. or flat and then Pulse. back to our pulse. So we can indicate that we, which part of the move we like pulse and then flat. So you're mixing and max, matching, um, sometimes known as Franken swing, which is quite a cool way to think about it. Um, and that was it. Lots of recaps. Yeah, we'll be back next week for the